Hello everyone, and Gnada sei mit euch und Friede. Charisimin ke irini. Grace to you and peace. In this video we're going to look at something which I consider to be a plague on Christianity. And that is the extreme KJVO, or King James Version only, position. And to show how misguided this position is by looking at some wisdom from Martin Luther. So first, let's define the extreme KJVO position. Uh, this is basically a double inspiration position, which sees the KJV as inspired and other translations as evil. Here are a couple more definitions which elucidate this position. Those who hold that the King James Version is the only God-inspired translation of the Holy Bible they insist that all modern translations have been modified to the point where they are unreliable or even dangerous for Christians to use as a resource. And secondly, an approach that elevates the status of the King James Version to or near or sometimes even above the status of the original Hebrew, Aramaic, and Greek text of the Bible. So. In, contra uh, in contradistinction to this extreme KJVO position, let's give a sane definition of the KJV. A 17th century translation of the Bible from Hebrew, Greek, and Aramaic into English. That's it. It's not inspired. It's nothing more than a translation, and translations are not inspired. The scripture is inspired in the original Hebrew, Greek, and Aramaic autographs only. For example, let's take a look at 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 21b, which is a very succinct and eloquent statement, which reads, Epo nogmatos agio feromeni, elalisan apotheu anthropi, being carried along by the Holy Spirit, men, spoke from God. This is called verbal plenary inspiration, which is defined as God the Holy Spirit so supernaturally directed the human writers of Scripture that without waiving their intelligence, their individuality, their personal feelings, or their literary style, or any other human factor of expression, his complete and coherent message to mankind was recorded with perfect accuracy in the original languages of Scripture. The very words bearing the authority of divine authorship. Martin Luther stated this very succinctly in his treatise entitled To the Councilmen of All Cities in Germany that they establish and maintain Christian schools as follows. So lieb nun, als uns das Evangelium ist, so hart lasset uns über den Sprachen halten. Denn Gott hat seine Schrift nicht umsonst allein in die zwei Sprachen schreiben lassen, das Alte Testament in die Hebräische, das Neue in die Griechische. Und lasset uns das gesagt sein, dass wir das Evangelium nicht wohl werden erhalten ohne die Sprachen. Die Sprachen sind die Scheider, darin dies Messer des Geistes steckt. Sie sind der Schrein, darin man dies Kleinod trägt. Sie sind das Gefäß, darin man diesen Trank fesselt. Sie sind die Kernnot, darin diese Speise liegt. Und wie das Evangelium selbst zeigt, sie sind die Körper, darin man dieser Brot und Fischer und Brocken behält. In proportion, then, as we prize the gospel, let us guard the languages. For not in vain did God have his scripture set down in these two languages alone, the Old Testament in Hebrew and the New in Greek. And let us be sure of this. We shall not long preserve the gospel without the languages. The languages are the sheath in which the sword of the Spirit is contained. They are the casket in which we carry this jewel. They are the vessel in which we hold this wine. They are the larder, in which this food is stored, and as the gospel itself says, they are the baskets in which we bear these loaves and fishes 
and fragments. What Luther is saying here is that the scripture is inspired and preserved in the original languages, in the Hebrew, the Aramaic, and the Greek. We can translate the scripture from these source languages into various target languages so that people can have the scripture in their own language, which is a principle of the Reformation. However, these translations are not inspired. The scripture is only inspired in the original languages. The Bible translation you use depends on two factors. Translation philosophy. Martin Luther had a pithy quote about Bible translation in Tischreden, or Table Talk, where he said, Wirklich übersetzen heißt, etwas, das in einer anderen Sprache gesprochen ist, seiner Sprache anpassen. To truly translate is, for one to take something spoken in another language and make it fit in his own language. This process of fitting the source language to the target language can be accomplished using one of two different methods. Firstly, formal equivalence. This is a word-for-word -word translation, i.e. translating the meanings of individual words in their more or less exact syntactic sequence. This method yields a translation that is closer to the original, but does not read very smoothly in the target language. Formal equivalence translations include the King James Version, the New King James Version, the English Standard Version, and the New American Standard Bible. Dynamic equivalence. This is a thought-for-thought -thought translation which tries to clearly convey the thoughts and ideas of the source text. Dynamic equivalence translations include the New International Version and the New Living Translation. The second factor on which Bible translation depends is manuscript theory. I have an entire video on manuscript theory, so I won't go into detail here, but there are various groups of manuscripts that are used in the various translations. And to summarize, the manuscripts agree on every major doctrine. So really, this should only be an area where you may or may not have a preference but you should never become dogmatic that one manuscript group, for example, the Textus Receptus, is superior to another manuscript group, for example, the Alexandrian texts. There's simply not enough difference in the manuscripts to become dogmatic. So in summary, you should always bear in mind that Bible translations can only give a sense of the reading. All analysis must be done from the original languages of Scripture because this is the level at which the inspiration of Scripture lies. To become dogmatic about any particular Bible translation, for example, the King James Version, being superior to all others is error. Thank you. Dankeschön. Evcharisto.